maybe it's naive, but I kind of like harken back to like, or I, I mythologize living in a, I don't want to say a less scientific, but maybe like a less analytic era. Where like, if you were a little bit bad at your job, what were the consequences? You work at the company for 45 years, you get a retirement party, they give you a gold watch. You go eat at a restaurant, what do you say? Hey, this food was pretty good. You don't say, oh yeah, it's really, it's pretty good, but I've had better egg foo young at uh, this place. And then, oh no, actually a lot of people are talking about this new restaurant's got a lot of buzz down and blah, blah, blah. Like you just, you know, like back before the information age, people were just sending it, bro. They didn't have the tools to, to not send it. He's Ted Kaczynski posting again. I'm not Ted Kaczynski posting, okay? I'm not saying you have to hand it to him. Don't you remember? I got in trouble with my chat for saying Ted Kaczynski was a bad dude. I was like, regardless of his political opinions, I don't think you should blow people up with bombs. And people were like, bad take. <laughs> what about Hitler? Okay, you can blow Hitler up with a bomb. You know, I so NL lore that you probably already know if you've been watching for a while... Every night to fall asleep, I listen to an audiobook. The audiobook is The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. I'm at the part for like the 17th time because I've, I've read, well, listened to this like 70 hour book so many times because I've been listening to it for like seven years. I'm at the part where they're doing the von Stauffenberg plot to kill Hitler. And I get that they were like working their ass off to kill Hitler, but it really seems like they fucking sucked at it. Like, nobody could just take a gun and kill him. Like, it took a hundred dudes making, like, a massive conspiracy. And then they, like, built a bomb and put it into a briefcase. And then they were like, no, 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 we can't do it today because we won't get Goebbels and fucking Goring. We want to get, like, a, a triple. So they said, okay, take the briefcase back out. And then they had, like... They, they finally got the bomb to explode, but somebody moved it next to, like, a, a really thick table leg, so, like, it only kind of flesh-wounded him. Like, you, no disrespect, you know you're, like, it's probably, like, a self-sack move. They couldn't have just shot him? I guess they, just, they wanted to have some self-preservation as well, but, like, what's up with the Looney Tunes shit, bro? Did you hear about the Fidel Castro shit? They tried to blow him up with a cigar bomb. What the fuck, man? <laughs> that's true. That's okay. So they did want to eliminate like the entire brass and then like have a military coup happens to ensure that it wasn't just like a transfer of power. I do understand. I guess I understand that. When you're listening, like, it's the longest chapter in the book. It's, like, four hours and 15 minutes long. And it's basically about them getting, like, cold feet. And then, like, when they actually do it, like, one dude is just like, what's this briefcase doing here? And he just moves it to the other side of the room, bro. Why are you on the same book? I don't know. I'm a routine-driven Andy. And uh, it's interesting to, you know, learn. So when, you, when you're born, it's like arriving at a party... That's been going on for like millennia, right? So sometimes you're like, why is that dude got a lampshade on his head? Why does this country have borders that look like this? So you learn history and all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's, that's, that shit all happened like before I got here. It gives you like some more context for the world in which you live. Why are you reading it again? Why are you, why are you policing? My, you've probably read fucking The Wheel of Time like 17 times. All of a sudden the bro wants to learn something about human history and it's troubling. Go back to fucking having wet dreams about Galadriel, bozo. Have you read any 21st century novels? What an insane question. Yes. Halo, the fall of reach. Also, the old men in the sea. Or the old man in the sea. Also, Handmaid's Tale. Also, Slaughterhouse Five. Also, 1984. Also, Animal Farm. Also, Of Mice and Men. Also, To Kill a Mockingbird. Also, Brave New World. Fucking also probably... Oh, no. Oh, 20th. <laughs> you didn't say 20th century. You said 21st. Halo, The Fall of Reach. That probably came out in like 2003. Thoughts on everyone just reading smut now? 
my thought is who cares, I guess. I don't know. I don't consider it a big deal. Who the fuck is everyone? <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. I don't think there's anything wrong with reading like a smut or a romance novel or whatever. Who cares? Doesn't bother me. Not my cup of tea. I got to be more efficient with my arousal. Just don't have a lot of free time right now. I can't afford to be spending like two hours getting horny. It's more like a kind of like get in, get out type situation. Maybe at some point though, who knows? Do they write romance novels for, for men? That's got to be like a 98% women dominated genre. Visual novels. Oh, you're so right. Visual novels. And manga. Sorry, librarian. Sorry, I forgot about the manga. 